Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is uh, Microsoft Project Server. Uh, friend, this is a very very important topic especially if you are a person who is uh, working with uh, project management and as a project manager you are already some working somewhere or you have to manage the project so this is a very very important tool we must have to know about it Microsoft Project Server. So let's uh, start friend first of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. So uh, to today's topic is friend what is Microsoft Project Server. Microsoft Project Server is a tool or software tool which we use to manage the uh, manage the projects actually. So as a project manager we must have to know about it we must have knowledge about this tool software tool Microsoft Project Server. Uh, why it's important why it's important because it's a enterprise level tool. Uh, now we all know that other tools are already available like Jira, Microsoft Project and some other tools are on already base come. So many tools are nowadays available. So we why we should have to go for Microsoft Project Server. Basically friend Microsoft Project Server is a enterprise level tool through which you can handle multiple multiple uh, projects and you can uh, you can manage the resources as well. Okay, so unlike the file based uh, standalone tool on the desktop, the Microsoft Enterprise Project Management solution for project and portfolio management is based on a server with central data storage. Microsoft refers to it as a project and portfolio management uh, from which the acronym Microsoft PPPM is derived actually. So Microsoft uh, uh, PPM or uh, project management uh, server is basically project and portfolio management server is basically a tool which we use to manage the server now it's an enterprise server uh, actually what uh, Microsoft project server offers it offers the central configurations and standardizations central resource administration and reporting role specific uses and ac access individually expandability and integration with other systems as well Microsoft PPM uh, project management and uh, portfolio management is available on premises or in the cloud as well. It is fully integrated in SharePoint server as well as project online. Basically we all know that SharePoint is also a sub uh, tool of uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft project server is easily integrated with PPM or uh, with easily integrated with SharePoint as well. The benefits of the project servers are so many. First of all transparency in work and decision making. Uh, basically the information is accessible to everyone like project management the portfolio management so the information is shared uh, instantly with everyone so uh, the transparency level and the decision making level is very high then the centralized project administration like for example if you have a organization at a enterprise level and for example you ha uh, have uh, for example 25 or uh, 30 projects are already running in your organization so the administration of the resources administration of the project is centralized that means uh, at a central position you know that how many resources involved how many revenue is coming uh, which project is uh, ending on which date so basically uh, you have a centralized view at uh, at, uh, at at a central position then the strategized project planning again the same thing because the resources are shared uh, the administration is centralized so the project planning or strategy is made based on the vision you are getting from the project server okay so this is the very biggest uh, advantage of using the project server because to make a strategy is uh, is easier to use the project server why because you know that which project is ending on which date which resources are involved which should uh, which project should have to given more importance which should uh, have to give less importance so as a strategy which is defined by the company structure and organization so you know it very well that uh, what strategy you should have to make which uh, you should have to adopt shared resources uh, again the project server is uh, having the shared resources like if there are 40 projects are running in your organization so you have information about all the resources using the project server you know that for example five resources are involved in project A, five resources are involved in project B, seven resources are involved in project C so uh, you have information at one location okay and uh, you have uh, note uh, you know that uh, how, how many human resources are involved how many and uh, hardware resources are involved how many software resources are involved 
and which resource is busy till which date and how we can uh, use the other resources from which date okay so this is a very big advantage and very big advantage of using the project server then uh, project tackling and monitoring this is also uh, because see project server gives you uh, many uh, reports as well okay so you know uh, earn value reports uh, the uh, baseline reports uh, the uh, other status reporting other things so many reports is, is basically provided and also you can make your own custom reports as well so uh, the tackling uh, tracking or monitoring tracking means that you know for example uh, you know that uh, project A should have to complete by next month okay so you can track it after five days or ten days whether it is going to finish uh, in the next month or not if not uh, uh, ending uh, so uh, what is the uh, what are the uh, next dates etc so tracking and monitoring status reporting is very very uh, efficient and uh, as essential in the project server uh, due to the very good reporting structure of the uh, project server so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot uh, for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video uh, if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you